Hi everyone, Palantir is going to release their Q2 2023 earnings tonight. So if you're a Palantir shareholder, right, you definitely want to take note of what this company's earnings call is going to be about. And at the same time, if you're not, right, then maybe you want to take a look whether this is an investment opportunity that you want to enter as well. So before today's earnings result is actually released, right, let's take a quick recap of the Q1 and the previous results to see where is Palantir at right now and what are some of the things that we can look out for in this earnings call. All right. So for the first recap, Palantir's revenue has been increasing over the quarters. And in fact, right, it's not only for the government sector that everyone has been talking about, but the commercial segment right, is also increasing as well, right? So you can see that both are actually increasing over the quarters and this is a good sign and I potentially see that for this quarter in Q2, right? Definitely it will be increasing as well. Okay, so then let's move on to the segment breakdown, right? That government segment, right? is actually consistently around the 50 plus percentage. To me, this is perfectly fine because government segment is where they started off and they have consistently been getting more and more customers from the government segment itself. Not only from the US, but also from other regions that are US allies as well. This is not the case where all of their government revenue is generated from the US segment, right? It's from US plus ally countries itself, okay? So to me, I think this is still okay. The balance is quite good. Okay, so for Recap3, let's take a look at their profitability, right? In terms of gap, which is something that is more holistic, right? Where you consider your share-based compensation and all the other whatnots, right? And you can see that for Palantir, they have reported two consecutive quarters of gap profitability. So I potentially see that they'll continue to be profitable this quarter quarter itself and you know by staying grab profitable right this is definitely going to be very attractive for investors and they see like hey penalty is profitable let's take a look whether you know this is really the case or not and last but not least in terms of Valentia's AIP which is something that they announced last quarter and I think with the whole AI hype and the whole LLM hype right definitely when AIP was launched right people were saying that hey, this could potentially be something that you know governments or you no know, corporations are looking out for because the data that is used by these companies, right, is not going to be leaked out into training the models itself like ChatGPT. Definitely, AIP is something that I think has a lot of potential. And if you want to know how each step actually worked out, right, you can actually watch my video that I've done previously to share on the walkthrough of how AIP actually functions itself in the military context. And I believe that AIP is something that is going to attract more customers in in upcoming months because firstly when chat gpt was launched right everybody rushed into it in fact it took less than one week for them to actually get a million subscribers right this is just the b2c context but in terms of corporations where data is something that is very sensitive to everyone right that's where aip comes in strong and tells the corporations that hey you know your data is going to be safe with you we're just using an llm behind to help you to get the information you needed and helps you to get the decisions making steps even faster and then i think that's where you know uh, this is definitely a big opportunity and with alex cup saying that there's no strategy in terms of you know the, the the pricing wise right because they want to get go in and then capture all of the market and get more clients first right and i think this is a very good approach from the management because you know Palantir, we can see that those customers that follow them right has been increasing or you know, expanding their wallet size in in Palantir itself. So I think that, you know, once people or once corporations starts to use these platforms, right, they'll see how useful it is in generating them insights. And on top with AIP, that is going to give them a better, faster decision making process, right? This is going to be very valuable to customers where, you know, decision making points has to be, you know, the, the best and the most cost efficient ones, right? So I think this is where Palantir is going to step up. And then I'm really looking forward to earnings call where, you know, the management is going to talk a little bit more about how they have really captured X numbers of customers and X numbers of, you know, deals, right? Together with the help of AIP itself. All right, so that's all for the AIP segments. And for me, what are my takes, right? I think, right, this earnings results is going to be good. Let's not go into the numbers in specific, but I think that, you know, if you are to talk about the key matrices such as your revenue, gross margin, cash flow, and of course, uh, and of course, as investors, we have to look into the profitability of it, right? I think that's where we can see that it will constantly do improve, you know, be it know whether the market is doing well or not. I think so far, you know, have been stabilizing already. So that's not a very big factor. But the more important thing is, so what can you do as an investor or somebody who wants to you know invest in Palantir after, you know, you have studied it, right? So again, this is not a recommendation to buy or sell, but let's say if you're somebody who wants to buy it right now, right? 
you might not want to do so because right when it's doing earning seasons or earning periods of companies right that's where the share price is relatively more volatile and that's where you can see that the share price can go up and down in very huge candlesticks and the most funny thing is that when the earnings results is good right it doesn't necessarily means that the share price will increase likewise if the earnings result is bad right it doesn't mean that the, the share price is going to tank right there is many things that is affecting the share price movements so uh, personally i do not do much actions during this earnings seasons right so whether it's a bull or bear right please comment in the section below so that i can know whether how many people are very bullish about palantir how many things that you know after the whole whole run up from eight dollars plus to all the way to 19 dollars or 18 dollars right now right where is it going to be is it going to go up or go down right do comment in the section below to let me know as well personally as an investor whether it goes bullish or goes bearish uh I'm both happy with it, right? If it's bullish, then it means to say that I have more uh, capital appreciation. But if let's say it turns, if let's say the share price goes down, right? Then that's where you know you can think about whether you want to enter the market as well. So right now, let's take a look at you no know, Palantir's uh, share price in terms of the trading view, and you can see that uh, what do I mean by the volatility is relatively high, right? It's because you see that during most of these earnings seasons here, where my cursor is, you can see that the volatility, the implied volatility, which is something that shows you that you know the premiums for options right is relatively on the higher side right so you can see that earning seasons where there is usually a spike in terms of the implied volatility which also means that if you are considering to be an options trader right or somebody who's playing options right or, or somebody who is doing options trading right you might want to be considering doing sell options instead because the implied volatility because the implied volatility is relatively high and that means to say and that's when when you collect premiums right it's going to be of a more attractive size than you are buying a call options so whether you want to do a put option or a sell option right that is another story for another day depending on where you see the outlook of palantir is going to be like where you think palantir is going to be in the next few quarters or even if you're talking about short term in the next few days or months okay so for me i also took a look at the evaluations i think that it's relatively on the higher side because you can see that the past few quarters multiple of ps ratio right which is price to sales it's around seven eight to no this is around right the ps ratio has been has been rather flat of around six plus to you know of a high of 11 times right so this eight six to eleven right is is it was the norm for the past few quarters but in recent in recent days right you can see that he has slowly increased to all the way until 20 ish times which means to say for every dollar of revenue that palantir is generating right you are willing to pay 20 dollars and to me i think at this point of time it's rather overvalued so if you are thinking of capturing you know the upside of it right you may consider doing a sell put because you are, you are hoping or you are, you are, you are foresee, forecasting that you know with the current market trends with the current movements of the monies right and then people getting more optimistic with the with with ai related stocks right then you might potentially see so you might potentially see a you know uh, a, a mini bull run in the near future right so you can consider doing a sell put to capture a bit of this uh upward movement of the of the share price right so yep that's all for today's uh, quick recap so coming back again i think look at how revenue have been increasing and talking about share based compensation which is something that we look into for all tech companies right that is something that i see that has been coming down a lot right as compared to when it started right so in terms of the dilution of the company i think it's re relatively less of a concern and with the hype okay maybe not a hype but with the demonstration of aip right showing that you no know, data from companies will not be leaked out and they can get faster decisions made with the help of llms that's definitely something that you know if you're looking for efficiency and at the same time looking for ways to use data to make better decisions then definitely palantir is something that is going to be attractive to many corporations so yep that's it for today's video and thank you so much for watching before they are releasing their q2 2023 earnings report okay do remember to like and subscribe my name is joshin see you in the next video bye bye